A uh, question here from the audience that got texted in. Can you scientifically prove free will? It depends on what you mean by science. Um, if you mean, can you explain it by natural causes, which is what most people mean by science, then no. Because the very fact of free, free will is not part of the chain of natural cause and effect. Free will is that you, as a human being, are able to break that chain of cause and effect and introduce a new chain. So that's what uh, C.S. Lewis um, put it very well. Um, he said, a free will, human free will is a lot like a miracle in the sense that what God does is not violate nature, but introduce a new chain of, a new event, a new chain of cause and effect into the, into the, uh, into nature. And that's, that's what he's given us the ability to do, to be first causes. You know, we are not just trapped in a chain of cause and effect. We have the ability to be a first cause and start a new chain. That's part of what it means to have a high view of human dignity. I mean, I, mean, this is, I think this is really cool. <laughs> Having been, that was one of my isms when I was a non-Christian. I had become convinced through my science classes that we would determine that we were complex robots. And so one of the things we debated when I was at Libri was, is free will, free will real? And it's, it's wonderfully liberating when you, when you come from that mindset that's not real and discover that, yes, we can be genuine first causes and you know, the incredible sense of freedom and dignity that you get when you, when you adopt the Christian worldview.